Hi hey everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you a very simple concept, uh, but some people get confused about show columns in Power Apps. Why do we use it? So at high level, we'll just talk about two things. Why do we use, when to use show columns? What's the, what's the value of it? And then how to use it? Uh, I did a series on collection and one of you asked me about this. So I'm creating this video on that demand. This is great. I mean, if you need some videos like that, please let me know. I love doing that. So let's get going. Uh, for you to uh, understand, first thing I will show, uh, I'll first talk about why you, uh, why you need uh, a show column. So to illustrate that, uh, let me show you what happens in a collection if you have too many columns and for you to see if you have too many columns for example here is a SharePoint list which has many many columns uh, and uh, so you might be wondering why am I why am I talking about SharePoint list when I, I have to talk about collection and show column the point here is uh, like I said in one of my collection series is uh, it's, it's a good idea many times to uh, take the data from backend like SharePoint in this case and first put that in a collection so that you don't have to keep going back to your data source in your app and that helps from performance perspective and a lot of back and forth traffic perspective. So let's say in your collection, you get all your data from the SharePoint. So let's first do that and see what happens. So let's create a very simple app Here's a blank app. I have already created the data source connecting to the SharePoint. So I'm not covering this basic stuff. I'm assuming you already know. If you don't know, let me know. There are some basic videos that I have in my channel, but if you still want me to uh, clarify something, let me know. I'll be happy to create a video for that. So we already have the SharePoint as data source. In this screen, I'll just create a very simple button I could have done it in app start event also, uh, like here, app on start, but this time I'll just use the button. So in this button, what I will do, I will get this data from SharePoint into a local collection so that I can just use that collection for the rest of this app. So for that, I'll use clear collect and I'll just use some name. So let's say test collection and I'll give the name of the SharePoint list, the data source that we just added, uh, this issue tracker. It's as simple as this. So as you know, the, uh, all this statement does is gets the data from SharePoint list, puts that in a local collection that you can use anywhere. Uh, so let's preview it, run it, and let's see what happens. Uh, I could have displayed this in a gallery, but just for simplicity's sake, let's use this feature of Power Apps where we can go and see the value of collection. So I can see. So as you can see, this test collection has so many columns. So A, it's not only confusing the many of them that you may not need. So why to have so many of them? But more importantly, why to pass so many columns from your backend to your front end? By backend, I mean this data source by front end I mean this app why uh, because it it can take some network bandwidth network traffic uh, I mean it's very few records but still in large data source and large tables it can have some performance impact uh, for these two records obviously you'll not see anything so that's when show column can be useful uh, one for clarity uh, Brevity purposes because here you see so many columns, not the variables, but the collections. So one is you have so many fields and it can confuse you. And secondly, from performance perspective. Now, how to do that? I hope that makes sense why you need that. How to do that? It's very simple. What I will do is uh, instead of taking the whole issue tracker, this packet table, I will just apply this formula called show column on this and select the columns that I care about. So let's pretend that for this issue tracker, all I care about, this is a fake scenario. So all I care about is title and the description and that's all. So how do we, if we just need those two columns, that's where show column is helpful. So how do we do that? Show columns 
and you see the hint that Power Apps is giving you, source. So that's this issue tracker and the column names one by one that you want. So I need first column, which is title, uh, title, second column, description, and so on. So in this case, I just needed two, that's it. So what happens? I selected the column, the output of this function is another collection that has from this collection of this data source only these two columns. And now I'm assigning the output of this to this collection that we have. Clear collect means it will just wipe the previous value and put this value. So let's run it and see what happens. So let's preview this, click on this, and let's see what happens in the collection. Click on collection, and you see that we have now only two columns here. So it's as simple as that. Uh, it's not really simpler to understand. It's also good from performance perspective. Now, one last thing I want to say here is uh, if you have studied some column related functions, you might have also come across things like drop column, add column. And some of you might be wondering, so we have show column that allows me to select some columns and we have drop columns which allows me to drop some columns. So why do we have both? You're right, I mean, you can accomplish the same goal by using drop column also. So for example, you could have said from issue tracker, drop the columns that I don't need, as opposed to saying I need these two columns. Now imagine with this, this list with so many columns, you having to list each and every column one by one and say drop them. So in this case, show column is more handy. But in some other case, drop column might be more handy because you may just want to drop one or two columns. So you don't want to say show column for each and every other column. So hope you get that idea. If you want me to clarify that more in another video, let me know. I'll be happy to do so. That's all I had in this video. Thank you so much. Hope you found this useful. Uh, if you have any question, if you want my help in uh, any of the other topic, here are the ways you can uh, reach out to us. Uh, feel free to subscribe, like this video, share this video. Uh, that will be great help. Thank you. Bye.